when someone is physically ill, especially if it's a chronic illness or a great illness, it is in that suffering that Christ is incarnated, as it were. Jesus is made himself present in the suffering of that person. It's hard to see it as a blessing, but when we're taking care of someone who's sick, that is Christ himself who's there. So when the Lord allows us to enter into his suffering, we unite our suffering to his, and we ourselves become one with him. In the moment of suffering in our life, we are united with Christ Jesus in a remarkable way, in a closeness with Him on His way to Calvary, on His passion, so that we may go through His death and be united with Him in His resurrection. Our culture doesn't like that. The culture that we live in does not see value in suffering. Avoid at all costs. Things like abortion and euthanasia are precise responses to avoid suffering or to see no value in it. For us Christians, we embrace the cross. We celebrate the passion of our Lord. And when we ourselves are victims of suffering, for any reason, even if it's persecution and not the fault of our own, it's an invitation to participate in the very suffering of Christ.